Good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sport Rounds, where we talk about everything sporty. Um, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Um, wow, what a weekend of sports. I have to admit, it was an absolute nail-biter on so many occasions. Um, so just a bit of a preview of what we're going to get in today. We're going to get into a bit about what's happened in the cricket. Um, if any of you who watch domestic cricket, you know what I'm going to talk about. Um at least 30 odd years since a trophy has been won by the Leicester Foxes. Fantastic performance there. Um, I'm going to cover uh, some interesting insights with the cricket uh, and the England side, some selections. And then I'm going to cover a little bit of the football, which um, if you're a United fan, um, it was painful to be a Man United fan. So look, thank you for joining in today. Um, as always, it's I'm so grateful to have you guys joining in talking, telling me, your, telling me your opinions, telling me about what happened, um, what was your most favorite games over the weekend, what what made you a little bit more interested, I suppose, in any other game that was on. Um, we've got the Rugby World Cup that's been going a bit crazy. So look, we're going to get into it today. But first of all, thank you for tuning in. Um, look, we're trying to grow the Sport Round brand. We're trying to grow the community. Um, and I would love your insights. I'd love your feedback. I'd love your engagement. Um, if you're a big sports fan like myself, um, all this is is really a platform for individuals and fans like you and I to just talk about what's going on. Have an opinion, have a laugh, have a bit of fun. So look, if you haven't joined before, welcome. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you liked, subscribe, and even shared it. It's great to have um, great to have people part of a community where you can just talk more and more about sports, more and more about um, uh, things that interest you on the weekend. For me, it's an escape. It's something I turn off to, um, and I absolutely love it. So, look, more to come in the sport rounds brand globally um we want to build a community we want to build a group of people and we want to have a bit of fun this is my hobby right um right so if you haven't already i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel um we also have instagram uh and tiktok and um twitter well now x if you want to call it that um, but I'd appreciate if you guys followed along, talk to me throughout the, the games, interact. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so let's get into it. I think let's start this week. Um, I, I, before I get into that, we're generally going to be doing Monday and Friday shows. So um, they're not going to be live yet. But if we can get enough engagement from everyone, get enough input, I'll start doing these live to have real conversations. Um, but right now, I'm just trying to grow the platform. But share your comments and your opinions in the comments, and I'll definitely be responding to you and talking more about it. Um, so first of all, let's kick into, um, I think I'm going to start with, as if you don't know, my focus is cricket, rugby, and football. And then every now and then, a different sport I might pull in here or there. Uh, especially what's going on in the news but um i'm going to focus on the cricket right because a little bit quieter the cricket in the last week but some interesting insights that have happened there so if you didn't know it was the one day cup final um hampshire versus leicester foxes uh now i primarily follow england cricket but um and some international games i know south africa beat australia again this week but um what what was interesting is we had the first final i'm a leicester foxes fan in over 30 years one day cup final and the first um trophy since 2011 once they won the t uh, 2011 trophy um so big up for for the leicester foxes i think domestic cricket is hard enough as it is there's so much cricket going on uh, and a lot of those guys work really really hard so massive massive big ups to you guys at the leicester foxes for winning your first one i think the keeper seinfeld um, scored a century. Uh, brilliant work, fantastic news, and great to see. So it's great to see domestic. You know they beat they beat Hampshire, and um, and uh, it's good to see another trophy back up in Leicester. Um, considering their football team just dropped out of the uh, Premier League, <laughs> so you got to have one team that's supporting. You got to have one team that's representing. Um, look, and guys, just to add again, these are bite-sized news snippets, um, hopefully an area for you to spend 10, 15 minutes just watching the show, seeing about what's going on in the news and some great results that have happened. Uh, then what, what else have we got? We have got, um, as I mentioned, South Africa beat Australia in the cricket. Um, Quinton de Kock's almost retired, which is insane. Um, it's insane that he's going to retire soon. So uh, if you haven't, go check out some of those cricket uh, games, some of the highlights. It were great to watch. Um, if you haven't seen some of the news around the England uh, uh, World Cup squad in the cricket, the cricket, cricket England World Cup squad, Harry Brook 
was um, was actually was actually named in the uh, final squad for the World Cup, which is fantastic news. Congratulations, Harry Brook. Um, I think he deserved it. I think he's had a few wobbly games now towards the end, but fantastic news to have Harry Brook in the side. I think his talent, his natural talent, is absolutely fantastic. Um, then you know what? So that's I mean, cricket's been a bit quiet, but that was about it. What did you see? Maybe something I've missed. Maybe something that was interesting that you want to talk about. Um, maybe something you want to share some insights on. Let me know. Now let's step into the Rugby World Cup. Oh man, what a weekend of rugby, right? Um, uh, I tried to keep up with all the games as many as I could, but there were so many, um, so many going on that that I just thought there was some good rugby played. There was some interesting rugby played. Um, I think the biggest upsets, if we look at it, well, not necessarily upsets. We saw New Zealand smash Namibia on Friday. Um, then we saw we, we essentially saw quite a few games on Saturday. Samoa beaten beaten Chile. Um, th that was that was normal. I think Samoa haven't got a bad side, but I mean I do think their side in twenty nineteen might have been better. But let's see. Um, Wales twenty eight eight Portugal. Mm, I expected more on the board there with Wales, but good game with Portugal. Uh, Ireland Tonga fifty nine sixteen absolutely demolished. Um, now let's go into Sunday. If we go into Sunday, I think this is where the games start to get a bit more um a bit more interesting. So South Africa. But 76 nil up against Romania. That was just brutal. Somebody needs to help them out. Um, Australia lost to Fiji 22-15. For me, that was the biggest game of the weekend. Go and watch it if you didn't see. Some fantastic stats around it, fantastic information. Um, Australia scored two tries to Fiji's one. Um, but really good game if you get the chance to go watch the highlights. And then uh, England beat Japan, and by no means were England convincing in the first half. Um, not creative, didn't do much, uh, had a very fluke try. Um, <laughs> um, it was uh, a nice little head on, and uh, and Courtney Laws had the had the rugby brain to actually put it over the line because everyone thought it was a knock on. But some good tries there. Um, uh, we got four tries, so we got the bonus point, which is fantastic. Uh, we need the bonus point. I feel like the England attack right now is a little bit nowhere. We'd be either kicking or we're getting lucky. We need to form some form of identity in our attack, so hopefully we can do better in the rugby. What were your thoughts on the rugby this weekend? I'd love to know. Give me your, give me your insights. Um, give me uh, give me what you think, what you think we could be doing better, what you think we could be doing more of, um, what do you think could change? Uh, and then let's go to the football. <laughs> football was, uh, I'm not going to go through every game, but I just think some of the biggest uh, biggest uh, upsets this weekend. I mean, if you're a United fan like me, it wasn't uh, it wasn't pretty, guys. Put it that way. It definitely wasn't pretty. And um, and I'd hope for more. I'm not going <laughs> to. Um, but hey, I mean, what can you do? I mean, let's let, let's have a look at it. So if you look at Saturday's games, Premier League games. Um, I think the ones that I was watching that really stood out. I mean, if you saw Wolves actually went up before went up one 0 against Liverpool, but Liverpool managed to bring it back. I was impressed with the Wolves there, but they obviously couldn't maintain it for ninety minutes. Um, <clears throat> uh, Villa beat Crystal Palace. Uh, Fulham beat Luton. Expected biggest upset and my most painful day was uh, Man United Brighton. Oh, if you watch the game, it was absolutely painful. Rasmus Hoyland was fantastic. He was the best part of that side. Uh, Rashford had some a few great runs, missed a few opportunities, but Rashford has, has to do better for United. Um, he absolutely has to do better for that United team. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's 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 they, What's worrying with United right now is they just don't have an identity. Uh, five games, oh man, two wins and one was even questionable in itself. So let's be honest, yeah, United need to do something and something quick. They haven't been, the injuries haven't done them any favours, but um, Ten Hag got outclassed by Brighton. Um, I can't pronounce the Brighton manager's name. What's it? Deserzi. I think it's Deserzi. 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 Just outclassed. You'll see it in some of the media. Uh, absolutely fantastic game. 3 1. Absolutely. 3 1, man. Uh, and you know what annoyed me the most about United? They dropped their heads. The players dropped their heads. Anyways, that was some of the biggest news of the weekend. Just wanted to share it with you all. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If you if you can, please like, subscribe, follow. It really supports the channel. These bite-sized sports updates over the weekend. I hope it helped you. 